Okay, in this brief video, we're going to do a short flow with a focus on twists. Uh, we always begin a yoga practice with some breathing. We do that to establish the pad breathing pattern that we hope to carry out through the practice. Let's start in easy seat Sukhasana. Legs are uh, crossed in front of you. If this is uncomfortable for your hips, you could bring your feet in front of you. Soles touching, still letting your knees fall out wide. And in this position, especially for the breathing exercises, sitting on something like a block or pillow is always a great modification. And that does help us um, have our hips more open. Okay, sit up nice and tall. And let's do a, a Nirodha circular breath. So take your hands and you're going to place your ring finger, middle finger, and index finger in the palm of your hand, and your pinky and your thumb are open. Do this with your dominant hand. You will, I'm, this is my right hand. My right hand is going to close my right nostril. I'm going to breathe in through my left nostril, close that left nostril with my pinky, open my right nostril where my thumb was, and exhale. And then inhale through that right nostril, close it with my thumb, exhale through my left nostril by releasing my pinky. Do this a few times on your own, just establishing a breathing pattern. Okay, sit up nice and tall, draw your shoulders towards your ears, draw your shoulder blades back down your back. Big inhale through the nose. Big exhale through the mouth. All right. If you were sitting on something, let's release that. So we're sitting on the floor. Left hand to right knee. Right hand straight behind you. Take your gaze over your right shoulder. Sit up nice and tall. Really use that left hand as leverage against that knee. And twist over your right shoulder. And back to center. Right hand to left knee. Left hand 45 degree angle behind you. Sit up nice and tall. Take that gaze over that left shoulder. Back to center. One more time on both sides. Left hand to right knee, right hand behind you. Gaze over that right shoulder. Back to center. Right hand to left knee, left hand behind you. Gaze over that left shoulder. Back to center. Cross your hands. Left knee, right hand, right hand, left knee. Sit up nice and tall and hinge at the hips. So pull yourself forward, but keeping your back straight. Back to center. Let's come over onto our hands and knees. We'll do a, just a few rounds of cat and cow. This is all in the name of warming up. So you're in a tabletop position. Knees are hip width apart. Hands are shoulder width apart. Arms are rotated inwardly, so the inside of your elbows stays in the front of the mat. Inhale, extend your face, tuck your tailbone, cow. Exhale, around your back, chin to chest, cat. Inhale, face extended long. Exhale, around your back. Inhale, face extended long. Exhale, around your back. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. 
back to a neutral tabletop position. Okay, here we go. I'm just mentioned at the outset. Focus on twists. Plant your left hand, right arm, raise that high. Take that gaze way up at that right hand, and then bring that right hand underneath your chest, across to the left, and lower your right shoulder down to the mat. This is called thread the needle. Now, if your right shoulder does not meet the mat, which mine does not, that is fine, but you do want to use your left hand to help support your head and your neck. Okay. Unwind that back to tabletop. Plant your right hand, left hand to the sky. Take that gaze way up at that left hand. And then bring that left hand under your chest, across your body, lower your left shoulder down to the mat. See if you can scoot that left hand out to the right as far as possible. And again, if your shoulder doesn't meet the mat, which mine does not, use that right hand to help support your neck. All right, unwind that back to a tabletop. Now I'm going to turn myself so that I am facing the long end of my mat. And I'm going to stand up on my knees. Take your right leg, extend it long out to the side. Right hand to your right thigh, left hand high, and bend over to the right. Your right foot can be flat on the mat or bladed. Either way is perfectly fine. Okay, come back to neutral. Lift your toes, your right toes, to the sky. And one time, fold over that right leg. It's a little bit of a twist. It's a little bit of a hamstring stretch. Come back to center. Place that right knee back on the mat. Left leg extended long. Again, that foot can be flat on the mat or bladed, whichever is more comfortable for you. Left hand to left thigh, right hand to the ceiling. Fold over that left leg. Back to center. Rotate your leg so your toes are, left toes are pointing at the ceiling. Twist just a little bit and fold over that left leg. Back to center. Ooh. Left knee back on the mat. Come back over to a tabletop position. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, push your weight back, downward facing dog. We'll not do too many downward facing dogs in this practice, but goal is Hips are high, head is low. High hips is more important than straight legs. So if you need to bend your knees a little bit, you can see my eyes are plenty bent. To get those hips high, that is fine. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Walk back up to the top of the mat. Stop in a forward fold. Forward fold, head is heavy. Neck is relaxed, shoulders are heavy. Grab opposite elbows. Maybe sway from side to side. Then release those hands. Forward, forward. Slowly come all the way up to a standing position. All right. Mountain pose. Feet are hip width apart. Take those shoulders, round them up to your back again, draw those shoulder blades down your back. Take your arms, rotate them externally, so the inside of your elbows is still facing the front of the mat. Quadriceps super engaged by drawing your kneecaps up towards your hips. Inhale, arms up, high overhead. Clasp your fingers, bend to the right. Back to center. Clasp your fingers, Bend to the left. Back to center. One back bend. Take your gaze up at the sky like a string is holding your chest bone up to the ceiling. Back to center. Hands back by either side. 
And we're going to do mini sun salutation B. Inhale, arms up high overhead. Exhale, lower your hips, bend your knees. Arms are strong. Chair pose. Weight is back in your heels. Shoulders are drawn away from your ears. Arms are strong. Bring your hands to prayer position. We're taking our left elbow down to our right knee. Twists, right? So left elbow to that right knee. Take your gaze up at that right elbow. What are your feet doing? See if you can make your weight even in your feet, even though you're in this twist. Unwind the twist back to chair pose. Hands to heart center. Right elbow down to left knee. Take that gaze up at that left elbow. Unwind that back to chair pose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Forward fold. Inhale, flatten and straighten your back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Hands by either side. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, arms up high overhead. Exhale, chair. Inhale, hands prayer position at your chest. Take your left knee to your left elbow to your right knee. Gaze up at your right elbow. Unwind that chair. Hands at prayer position. Right elbow to left knee. Take your gaze up at that left elbow. Unwind that chair. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Forward fold. Flatten and straighten your back. Forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Hands by either side. Take your left foot, step it straight back. Bend your right knee, left leg is straight behind you, all 10 toes are facing the front of the mat. High lunge, hands high to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, hands down by either side of that foot, lower that left knee to the mat. Situate yourself, get that right foot and that left knee as far apart as you are comfortable. Hands up. Open your arms, twist to the right. Hands up. Open your arms, twist to the left. Hands up. Hands back by either side of that right foot. Tuck your left toes to get that left leg off the mat. Now you're a runner at the starting line. You're getting ready to sprint. All right, this is a little more challenging. Here we go. Hands up. Woo! All right. Open your arms, twist to the right. Hands up. Open your arms, twist to the left. Hands up. See if in one big motion, you can bring that left foot back to meet the right. Starting your mountain pose. Inhale, arms up high overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flatten and straighten your back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands, heart center. Okay, other side. Start your mountain pose. Right foot, straight back. Left knee, bent. All ten toes facing the front of the mat. Lift your hands. High lunge. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Hands down by either side of that left foot. Lower your right knee to the mat. Take just a moment to get that right knee and that left foot pretty far apart. Raise your arms up. Open your arms, twist to the right. Arms up. Open your arms, twist to the left. Arms up. Hands back by either side of that left foot. Tuck your right toes. Get your weight, your right leg off the mat. Your runner at the starting line. All right, this is challenging. Here we go. Arms up. This is a very strong crescent lunge. Open your arms, twist to the right. Arms back up. Open your arms, twist to the left. Arms back up. Here we go. In one motion, let's take that right foot. Whoa! Up to meet the left. Okay, two more twisting, standing poses, and then we'll hit the mat and cool off. Here we go. 
left foot straight back. Right hand to right hip, left hand high. And fold over that right leg. Your left hand to the outside of that right leg. Lift your right hand. This is a reversed triangle. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Unwind that. Hands back up to the ceiling. Step back up with that left foot. Right foot straight back. Left hand. Left hip. Right hand. High. Fold over that left leg. I'm trying to keep that left leg straight. Right hand to the outside of that left leg. Left arm high. Reversed triangle. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Unwind that. Hands high. Step back up to the top of the mat. And let's have a seat on the mat. Lie all the way down. Stretch your arms out overhead. Reach those fingers back behind you as far as you can. Point with your fingers. Point with your toes. Stretch, 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 stretch. All right. Bring your hands by either side. Keep your left leg on the mat. Bend your right knee. Bring your right knee towards your chest. Grab your right knee with your left hand. Take your right hand out wide to the side. Pull that right knee across in a twist. Inhale, exhale. Your right arm is extended to encourage that right shoulder to stay on the mat. So you can probably see that my right knee is not coming anywhere near the floor. That's okay. I got plenty of twist here. Untwist that. Extend that right leg long. Bend that left knee. Bring that left knee to your right hand. Left hand out to the side. Twist to the left, to the right, excuse me. Big twist. Inhale. Exhale. Unwind that. Send that left leg long. Bend both knees. Bring both knees towards your chest. Grab right knee, right hand, left knee, left hand. Squeeze yourself into the tightest ball that you possibly can. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Extend those legs. Lie down on the mat. Extend those hands by arms by either side, palms facing to the ceiling, and melt into the mat for Shavasana. And you may hold the Shavasana pose as long as you like. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. Thank you for joining me.